برایان هوک نماینده ویژه وزارت خارجه آمریکا در امور ایران میگوید کانال مالی ویژه معاملات برای صدور داروهای درمانی سرطان و پیوند عضو تکمیل و راه اندازی شده است سایت فارسی وزارت خارجه آمریکا همچنین با انتشار ویدیویی درباره دلایل تحریم سازمان انرژی اتمی ایران موارد معافیت های دارویی از تحریم های آمریکایی علیه جمهوری اسلامی ایران را نیز با زیرنویس فارسی سخنان آقای هوک منتشر کرده است Today, in coordination with Secretary Mnuchin at the Department of the Treasury, we are pleased to announce that we have completed the sale and delivery of cancer drugs and transplant drugs to Iran. A few months ago, we announced we were working with the Swiss on a new financial channel for humanitarian goods. We want companies to take advantage of the exemptions in our sanctions regime for food, medicine, medical devices, and agricultural products. While we work to provide the Iranian people with medicine, the regime makes no such effort. Last year, President Rouhani's chief of staff sent a letter to ministers seeking an explanation for the, quote, disappearance of over 1 billion euros intended for medical supplies. There are reports that 2 million euros intended for heart stints were instead spent on electrical cable. 180 million dollars for medical supplies were instead spent on tobacco and cigarette paper. I'm sure there are more examples we don't know about, but the Iranian people know that their regime, not American sanctions, are to blame for their difficulties getting medical supplies. We are sanctioning the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran. Uh, we are also sanctioning its chief officer, Ali Akbar Salahi. These sanctions are pursuant to Executive Order 13382, which targets WMD proliferators and their supporters. President Trump is committed to denying Iran from ever acquiring a nuclear weapon. The Atomic Energy Organization of Iran has played a big role in Iran breaching its key nuclear commitments. It has exceeded the limits on its uranium stockpile and enrichment levels. The head of AEOI personally inaugurated the installation of new advanced centrifuges to expand its uranium enrichment capacity. He also chaired a ceremony when Iran started injecting uranium gas into advanced IR-6 centrifuge machines.